Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. Uh, today, we are gonna follow up with a video we did earlier this year with the, pro, the plant growth regulators. Uh, two months ago, almost to the day, we applied the growth regulators to this row and some Nordman and Grand and Canan, some spruce. And um, today we're gonna kind of measure the results for that. Uh, that was again working with the Con Shape plant growth regulator and they define success as any growth that did not exceed three inches. So if it you know, was 12 and it went to 18, that would be bad. If it was 12 and went to 15, that would be good. So hopefully, you know, this is something that we can do to avoid cutting that top. And uh, we'll see how it goes. The, what I'll do first is I'll collect all the data and then I will bring it home and put it in Excel into the, you know, the, the starting height and compare them and we'll uh, review the results together. And we'll give all that to the mycorrhizal applications because they were the ones that kind of sponsored this trial and working with them to try and get this product labeled for Christmas trees. I think this is a would be a great step to avoid cutting that crown, like I said. So follow along as we uh, we kind of wrap this up and see what it looks like. All right, so I reviewed the um, con shape data and I put in Excel and I want to kind of go through the results in kind of a visual manner. Uh, we should start out with the controls. So I averaged all of the trees next to the con shape trees to, and I averaged them. So starting at, of all the Canaan, the average length was 21. At the end of the trial, they were 29. So an average of eight, eight inches of growth. Con color, 14 start, 19 end, five inches of growth on average for the control trees. Grand, two inches of growth. Korean, five inches. Balsam, six. Colorado, two. Serbians, four. Black Hills, seven. I think it's important to point out that we did get growth, right? Although the Grand and the Colorado kind of show that the, um, would already kind of be as a success of the PGR, we see that, you know, down inside the, the individual data you know, the, the PGR, the con shape did actually, you know, essentially stop all the growth. So that's good. Um, if we saw basically the same, we'd know that this wasn't really a good trial. And I did, in fact, imply it pretty late. So um, that's kind of the control trees. I think overall, the whole experiment, I see a lot more uh, green than red. What I did was I kind of took the growth and I put some conditional formatting that if the growth was over three inches it would turn red and say that you know it wasn't a success. So overall we look at all the trees we see more green than red so overall it's a good. Um, one thing I didn't notice that I didn't see any difference in bud density between the control trees and the con shape trees. So um, 
you know, I didn't count every bud everywhere, just kind of a, a as I was walking through and visual comparison, I didn't notice much. Um, so let's go into kind of the individual trees by type. So our Canan fir, we see a lot the most red. So um, I think we'd have to either increase the application rate to get these under control, but we see that it didn't, it had the least effect. The, the growth regulator had the least effect on the Canan. Um, also, I think it's important to note that I applied this pretty late on a Canan. I mean, we already see, you know, 27 to 28 real long leaders already. So in the future, maybe applying this a little earlier at the higher rate, maybe help something. I think this is one thing that I would want to focus and kind of really track more in the future if I continue this. Uh, the con color, you know, a couple trees got um, a little long, you know, five and three, but for the most part, we see zeros, a half inch, one inch, so a pretty good uh, reaction to the con shape and worked well. The grand, the grand was one that, you know, didn't grow much anymore uh, after the application, but we do see that, you know, zeros and ones, so, you know, there was some effect there. Koreans, um, I think I saw a study out of Oregon where they applied some to Koreans and they also experienced, you know, not a, not a good reaction. I'd say about 50-50 here. We see some longer ones. We see some that worked. So again, maybe increase the rate here. Um, I think I might have noticed a little more uh, the llamas growth, you know, when that, that's, the buds grow again for the second time. I think I didn't notice a little bit more of that happening in the Korean, but that's pretty common in the Korean. It would be nice if this worked really with the Koreans because, as you know, the once you touch the top, they get real squirrely and, you know, stuff starts happening with them. Balsam, you know, six inches on average of growth for the controls and, you know, pretty much 100% success. So I'm very happy with that. This is one of our most popular trees and one of our core rotation ones. So it's good that this worked. Colorado Blues, again, this was one that didn't grow much. Um but it virtually did stop zero. We see an inch on a couple trees, but very good success. Um, I think with Colorado's too, you know, keeping that natural crown is very important. Serbians, this is one we're kind of getting out of just because of a lot of the white pine weevil problems. And I don't think the branches are real strong. They don't make real good Christmas trees, but people that grow them, um, we did see a pretty good success. Black Hill, this is one of the spruce trees that will put on a pretty big leader so we do have to nip these back pretty consistently and we did see a good response from the the, the growth regulator so i think this was a very good success very fun very interesting to work with uh, melissa at mycorrhizal's applications and um yeah um i'd like to do this in the future and keep on you know, getting this stuff labeled for Christmas trees, I think this is a very important step to not have to cut that, that crown. So here's hoping, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for watching and for your support. If you like this video, then check out these other great videos we've created for you. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Again, this is Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm, and talk to you soon.